Lesh, and I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased now to be joined by Sonia Medina, Director of Climate Change at the Children's Investment Fund Foundation. What have you, you been talking about here at Davos? Well, primarily uh, about uh, how, the clim how climate change is starting to make a big difference in how we do business and how we tra craft our partnerships between the public sector and the private sector. Uh, in December, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, about 190 governments got together and deliver an agreement that for the first time uh, will limit carbon emissions uh, around the world and in the long term is sending a very clear signal to business that we must transition to, an, uh, to, a, new, to a new future. And Davos uh, brings together key stakeholders that actually need to deliver mm -hmm. uh, and put uh, transition plans and actions. So for me, it's, uh, it has been a bit of a reality check has that actually percolated? Is the, mm -hmm. uh, is the narrative really making sense? Uh, is the long-term signal translating into short-term actions mm -hmm. uh, that we will actually be able to see in the next few years and how that is going to then accelerate activity that uh, creates a positive momentum going forward? And what's your, th what do you think? Has it? To a, to a large extent, it has. I mean, the long-term signal is very clear. Uh, the Paris Agreement was a great success. Uh, but obviously now we are moving from an environment where the, politi the political momentum has been uh, built and uh, the commitments are on the ground. And now it gets harder because now it needs to happen in reality. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean for the chemical industry, for the energy industry, for the cement industry, for mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So um, the, uh, the conversation has gone around, we get it, we really need to get it done, it's urgent. Now, what do we do? So the, the how mm -hmm. is, uh, is, and the implementation is, uh, it is what is being talked about. And obviously it's the beginning, it's the first time that is, this is a real, uh, there's, there's a real momentum behind it. And I think Davos will continue to have that conversation going forward and continue to check whether progress has been made. And what is what you do at SIF? How has that been impacted by COP21? So we will be evaluating what we need to do next to continue to build on the momentum and, and helping these partnerships, uh, public-private partnerships to, to deliver. Uh, we are one of the largest philanthropic organizations uh, in Europe. We devote about $60 million on, uh, on climate uh, philanthropy worldwide, uh, particularly focused on uh, technical assistance, capacity building, uh, advocacy, research uh, in long-term planning both for the private sector and the public sector. So I think we are now moving on. Uh, COP21 has influences in a way that we have now, in a way, won the political mm -hmm. narrative. But as I said, uh, demonstration and, and transition plans need to be tackled, understood, disseminated. Uh, knowledge sharing has to be happening and strengthened. And, and philanthropy, I think, it has a big role in, uh, in, in making those things happen and those connections and those conversations to, to occur. Thank you very much, Sonia, for stopping Thank by. Thank you so much. The Hub Thank Culture you. Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie. Thank you.